Big 12 champ or uh, maybe put one one guy in the finals that, that first year and, and uh, you know certainly not something we, we wanted to do. Um, had, had higher expectations for the group. Yeah, no, that it wasn't the plan to go in and you know, lose in the semis. You always want to do better. You, you see yourself barely losing a match and then that guy goes on into the finals and you know you could be there if you just performed just a little bit better at that moment. Like any tournament experience with a man is, is going to, to help. We have uh, you know 10 guys that are hungry to go out and compete and, and have the team be successful along the way and, and that's that's really what's important. Making sure these guys are able to, to come in and, and put them in uncomfortable situations, wake up early and, 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 and try to do something extremely hard and, and find ways to drum up excitement and, and passion. Definitely my true freshman year here, I was like, I'm going to die. Like, <laughs> there's no way I can do this for four or five more years. But it's actually just became just a natural part of my day is waking up and knowing I'm going to wake up and I'm going to work hard. I don't expect you guys to walk in and feel good about this. I don't expect it, but you gotta find a way to start that fire. You just gotta, you know, you just gotta do it as much as you don't want to do it. And I don't think too many people are morning persons. I'm not, you know, but something I gotta do to get better, to get to that next level. We want to get them out of bed and, and, and doing something hard early. Uh, just like they're, they're going to see at, at any competition. We want to get their nerves and, and test their nerves and, and um, you know, really, really push them. When I'm out on the mat, you know, I barely get tired, you know, when I'm wrestling these matches and ran sprints when I was this tired. I could wrestle when I'm this tired and it really helps motivate me to continue to push forward. When we do film work with guys, it's to grow their wrestling IQ. And positions that they will commonly see themselves in are, are really a lot of the pieces that we like to, to touch on. See where you're missing, pushing off the off the hips, getting on, yeah. That's why he's able to pop you up. So initially your hips were high, and then you got them back and got your basic defense, but you were like this, instead of being able to push off of his hips and get your hips back. Right there, when you're gonna pass that leg like that, I want to see you use your feet more. So once you come through, right, so you do a good job of passing the leg, but you don't use your feet. You don't get your feet in the mat. Yeah, and that's why you get stuck. Out of the video sessions, I'm not necessarily looking for what the guy is going to try to do to me necessarily. I am more of looking at what openings he is going to give me, what, where my offense is going to shine against him. In the event that, you know, we do give up a takedown in the scenarios like this anyways, your sense of urgency has to kick in. Because when you're in the match, you don't really, you don't realize what mistakes you are making or what you're doing good until you look back at the film and see the little things that you're doing right or you're doing wrong. Just because I think that's how it got to your legs so yeah. late. You know, even situations like this to where your, your feet aren't moving. Now as soon as he comes back square, we can just go boom here and then get to our short drag. At film, it's, it's not necessarily trying to, to reinvent the wheel here, uh, but it's, it's just being able to, to have a better understanding, to grow, to grow as, as an athlete and as a wrestler. They, they just they need to spend more time watching film and, and learning. You can get, you know, an escape and a takedown in 30 seconds. That's why situational-wise we do some of those drills. Clearing ties on your own, go! Each guy switching on and off. Winning the inside position. Forward pressure. There's not a whole lot of building left to do. Now it's just making sure our guys are 100% confident in, in, in what they're capable of and they believe in themselves. Time! Make attempts here, make attempts. Take some risks, go! It's going to be short, intense, 
uh, high energy workouts with great attitudes and, and high effort. Bring your left knee up. There you go. Get your elbow back into him. This way. Double leg defense. Double leg. Get your hips over his head. Hips over the head. You know, same wrestling and sprints, but the coaches do a good job of mixing it up. Um, just going hard when we have to and tapering off when we have to. The little things are surprisingly really big if you think about it. Like if you have your hips just off, you know, when defending a shot, that gives up a takedown and that spirals the match, you know, into the other guy's favor. Nice job, way to get square there, Cam! Oh, best setup to a single, high level finish, high level hard finish, go! We are working on a lot of one-on-ones with the coaches. They are kind of breaking down our wrestling and being like, right here, if you could just clean this up, that'll improve your wrestling, you know, just a little bit, and that little bit might just bring you to an All-American seed. His work ethic, his his competitiveness um, is is so high that it's hard to hard to you know be able to relate him to someone else because everything he does is, is absolutely as competitive and as hard as he can. No more than ten matches I would say left to me uh, for this career, and you know, I just want to go out there and give it all I have. He doesn't take a backseat to anybody for any reason at any time. He wants to be the best. He wants to uh, be the best on our team, be the best at the weight class, be the best in the country. He just, it's, it's in his nature. His success has, has really been just his, his ability to go out and, and be more consistent in his wrestling and in his training and, and you know I think he you know wrestling 157 is maybe a more natural weight for him. Being that guy that I'm gonna have to lead I've been trying to you know be more vocal you know get the guys involved and excited for practice because negative energy just drains everything. All the work is already is already done you know the the, the hard work is, is already in you know I just I have nothing else to lose and I'm ready to go out there and just uh, give it all I have this is when I am going to hopefully shine you know I get to prove that I'm better than what a lot of people in the nation think this is a fun time of year this is this is championship season and uh, these guys are prepared we've all wrestled hard worked hard this whole year and we had our ups and downs individually and as a team but we always come together and find ways to build each other up. And I really do think that we could get, you know, a good amount of guys to the national tournament.